Hi, Rumians. I'm Drushnik. Thank you for being here and welcome back to the Lion's Roar in our Crusader Kings 3 series, where we are getting ready to attack Zeeland, who, um, you know, we have a claim on, and uh, we don't like this count very much anymore, and we killed his sister, <laughs> our ex-wife. So... I think we're pretty ready to attack. However, however, one really, really important thing. If you have been wondering about the title history, and I was talking about this in the last episode, and I was complaining that you can't see title history in Crusader Kings 3, well, I was wrong. And thank you for pointing this out to me. If you go to any title at all, you see here claimants. You can, this is a very clear button to press, right? But this is also a button. Huh. So, if you press this button, you can see the title history of the Jarldom of Holland. So, first there was a Jarl Anselm of Holland who inherited it, and then Jarl Hrekker. Uh, inherited the title from Anselm. No, no, no. This was a hundred years later, so I don't think that that happened that way. But uh, no, 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 definitely not. So uh, we don't know what happened in between here and here, I, I suppose. But yes, this is how you can see the title history. Ha! Huh. So if we look for Dokum, for example, we can... Uh, oh, look at that. Yes, Carl the Great, Charlemagne. And then uh, Jarl, Kanstein, Sif, and me. <laughs> so yes, uh, it works. It really does work. And that is awesome. So that's good to know. Now, before I declare war on Zeeland, I can actually do it because I'm not in debt anymore. But if you look at the military here, if I uh, see the maximum military maintenance, if I raise everybody, then I will be paying minus three, and my income is only plus two and a half. So I would only be able to sustain the war for two years because I have seven gold. Now, I think two years is enough to, to conquer Zeeland, but it might be a little bit safer to uh, wait just a little bit longer and have a little bit more money before I do this. I mean, I don't have to. I don't really have to. But, uh, oh, hello, Philomena. You are a notable guest. But in order to get you in here, I would need to pay you 10 gold, and I kind of really don't want to. Kind of really don't want to. We are also... Why can't I go left? Thank you. I was I was pressing A, but nothing is happening. Um, we are being raided. Well, not, not yet. Our, our Jarl is being raided. If I raise my troops now, I would have to run over to Zeeland so we don't... Uh, oh. So we don't get um, attacked. Look at this! The child was not meant to be. My wife, Countess Tetberga, assures me it is the way of life, but her hand lingers on her belly. Aw, oh, she lost the child! She must be very sad. She must be very, very, very sad. She's feeling fine, but that should have a negative modifier on the woman, don't you think? But anyway, I have 15 gold now. I think that's enough to, uh, to declare. So let's do so. He still has no allies. Declare war! Press my claims! <laughs> Declare war! Raise all armies! Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop at this voice now. Don't hate me, because I love you. Let's go attack. Let's go attack. Oh, hang on. Do we need to change commanders? We, we could do it ourselves. It's a little bit uh, risky. But... How's my son's situation again? Oh, very bad. Very, very bad. Four years old. Right, because I had one and then he died in battle. So maybe I should not die in battle? Maybe, 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 maybe. Hmm, friendly fatal casualties lower. That would be fine. Oh, we have this, um, this dude right now who is a cautious leader. Nah, I don't know if I want that. Advantage in planes, farmlands, and step. Diederik, you can be the commander, because I think, yes, these are planes. Oh, look at that. The chances are even? Why? Really? Oh, he's not a really good... He's only eight. Do I need a better one? Hmm. Okay, let's do this, dude. We'll hold on long. Oh, yes. Oh, but you'll probably win. Okay, good. 
I like that. I like to see that. Now let's see. We are not countering his skirmishers because we really need to get some bowmen as men at arms. That really, really makes a difference in Crusader Kings 3. So if I would have bowmen, these guys would be doing way, way, way less damage. So that's one uh, important thing to be keeping in mind. Now we, we learned another secret, but we don't really care right now. We want Zeeland. And uh, we want it now. And we're still making money, actually. Huh. Ha ha ha. I can call on an ally, but I'm not going to do that. Because I think it will cost me prestige, and I don't really need her. Yes. If you uh, call on allies in a defensive war, it doesn't cost you any prestige. So that uh, that makes sense to do. I have... Um, I, offline, I've been playing as the, uh, the, the Duke and now Mighty Despot of Epirus in the Byzantine Empire. And I've been using my offensive wars to attack myself. Well, to use my own armies to attack. And whenever any defensive war happens, I just call on my allies and do it that way. So, uh, ooh, oof. Oof. Neutral army. And uh, that, that prevents me from uh, using prestige. And I can still win two wars at the same time, so that's nice. I'm leading a patrol when we spot a group of figures emerging from the darkness of night. Hooded cloaks obscure their faces, but by one's ungainly gait, I recognize Olivier, my knight. My lord, whispers one of my men, they are deserting. What should we do? We can apprehend them. I'm going to do that, of course. Duh. Duh. I think we're going to get Zeeland here. After a short scuffle, the deserting soldiers are apprehended. Every soldier present, both loyal and not, know that punishment for this kind of betrayal can be harsh. The air is thick with anticipation and fear. My lord, Olivier meets my gaze with tired eyes. They are only children. We just want to go home. We can execute them all, get a martial perk, uh, but also demoralize soldiers for five years. I don't really want that. You'll be scrubbing latrines for months. That's usually uh, the way I go. Uh, let me tell you about a story about discipline and honor. It's a diplomacy challenge, but it does give me stress, but not a whole lot. 73% success chance. You know what? I think I'm going to send them to the latrines. You go clean. The peapots. The whole situation could have turned out better. Even if the deserters returned to the ranks and their comrades took the filthy lesson to heart, I feel like the problem remains. Really? The 20% chance happened? <gasps> Why would they desert in the first place? I'm just as confused as I was at the start of this whole affair. But, but, they do have heightened soldier morale, so that's good. Pretty sure it was the 20% one, but I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I control Zeeland, and I've won this war. I got 17 gold from occupying it. Yay! And false my demands. Oh no, I was not going to use that voice anymore. <laughs> so, let's enforce demands to the impotent Radboud. It's the second person who's called me impotent. I really find that a vile word. W word. Thank you. No thank you. It's just, it's just wrong. I'm not impotent. I only have two children, and one of them is dead, but I'm... And, and my wife just lost a child, but I'm not impotent. May your humors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. To be. So, we are over our domain limit. And that is okay. Because we will disband the army. And, let's see. Mm, oh, we have just one heir, though. One heir. So, if I give this county away, then it will be lost to me. Mm hmm. <laughs> I can't give it to anybody, because I'm a count. Dumb dumb. That's a little problematic, don't you think? I'm now making less money than I was before, or maybe it didn't update yet. Huh. Ha ha ha, ha ha. Yes, that's a little bit problematic. Okay, well, <clears throat> I need to become a duke. I really need to become a duke. You know, I really think, I really, really think that I should, I should have this. But I cannot usurp a title belonging to my niche. However, is, is the only way for me to do this, I think it would be to gain independence. But he is stronger than I am. Unless I can get an alliance with some mighty king, whom I can draw into the war. Ooh, the enemy of Rome 
Um, I think we have all read. No, no, we have not. We have not read this. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was amazed to learn about the exploits of Hannibal Bacar during the Second Punic War. Known as the Enemy of Rome, Hannibal's crowning achievement was the Battle of Cannae, where his army of roughly 50,000 outmaneuvered and encircled the larger 86,000-strong Roman army. Surrounded and unable to retreat, only 3,000 Romans survived the massacre. Ouch. So I can say, like Hannibal, I will annihilate my enemies and become an aggressive attacker. Enemy fatal casualties plus 25%. Uh, Fabian tactics would make me a logistician. Plus 100% supply duration. Then flexible leader. Enemy defensive advantage is lower. That means you know how to reduce the advantage defending armies get from fortifications, terrain, rivers, and straight crossings. Okay. Bah, he was a fool. Um, I think aggressive attack attacker would suit my personality, don't you think? Pathful? Not necessarily, but I'll do it anyway. So I'm now an aggressive attacker, which is awesome. Uh, we are not paused. Okay, let me pause this for just a second, because I would like to know... Did I? No, I paused and unpaused. I'm dumb. This king doesn't really like me, but it's not too terrible. He does have one daughter who is 17 years old, but she's already married to a really old dude. Um, mm -mm -mm. I have one son. I need... Hey, hello, Bavaria. No, no, no. I can't marry my son to another boy. Unfortunately, because Bavaria would be a good ally. What about, what about King Lothair? How long does that truce last? What's her flag again? <laughs> hey, is the truce gone? No. Uh, 885. Oh, oh, just one more month. Good. Good, good, good. Now I know that this... Oh, but he, he's too weak. This is really dumb. That's that's a dumb idea, Trushnik. King Louis the Younger of East France. Yeah, you are fighting a lot of wars. You probably will not want to help me. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, England. Oh, look at that! Petty King Alfred Ethelwolfson. Oh, so uh, Ethelwolf was your yes. Ethelwolf Egbertson was your was your father. Okay. Alfred, King Alfred. Could you? Do you have? Yes, you do. A five-year-old and a one-year-old. You don't like me greatly, but maybe we can... She, he, he's not going to... Wait, huh? Why is she your primary heir? And not her? She's not a bastard. She's a bastard. Okay. She's a bastard, but it would still give me an alliance, I'm pretty sure. Why can't I pick my, uh, my boy? Where's my boy? Oh, she's got something weird. She's got she's got scaly, scaly skin. Why can't I pick my boy? Oh, I'm already betrothed. Oh yes, I said. Oh, of course. The von Heimskerk betrothal. That's right. How many troops do you have? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is not a very useful betrothal anymore. Not if I want more troops, you know. Although we do have a thousand, and my liege has 1600, so if I play my cards right, we just need men-at-arms. We really need men-at-arms. Maybe I can blackmail somebody to join my war, so maybe we should... Uh, where's our spy master? Eh, with the Pope. Oh, because I wanted that claim. But I could also just go for independence. Hmm, 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 hmm. This is, uh, it's a little bit of a pickle, but let's, uh, let's think about this. In the meantime, perhaps we can, um, we don't have claims on anything else. That's the problem. And if I, if I go try to get more claims, it just costs me money. And I really want to use my money now to get men at arms, but I also just need to get more, more money. So I need to develop Amsterdam, but, oh. Hmm. King Rurik won against King Lothair. Oh, Honing has been, uh... Prince Bishopric. 
Isn't that... Hmm. I don't know. Oh, here. King Rurik. 4,000 troops. Yeah, see, that's the problem. That's why I want to become independent, and then maybe, maybe for now, swear fealty to West Francia or something. Or Bavaria, for that matter, but that would be a little weird. West Francia makes sense from a, you know, connected point of view. So, hmm. <laughs> I can fabricate a claim on the county of Antwerpa. Yes, I know. I do know that, but, um... Oh, I can declare war. Really? A holy war for the county? Huh. Yes, let's not do that. That would not be very smart, I don't think. Uh, too many people would join that. So, how much do I, do I need to take to make Bowman? 75. I'm almost there. Having maybe just 200 Bowman, I think, would be enough to fight the Jarl. Light footmen. Oh, you also have pikemen. Pikemen. What do you counter? Light cavalry, heavy cavalry. So that's useless. You counter skirmishers. And my skirmishers counter heavy infantry. And I think pikemen are... No, they're just spearmen, not heavy infantry. Okay. But I think 200 bowmen would already deal with whatever he can summon effectively. And I think with that, we could potentially win the war against him. It would be very risky, but I think we would be able to do that. So if I can upgrade my men-at-arms bowmen, well, I need to create them first, but if I can get them to two-thirds size, I think that would make a lot of sense. So I'm going to try that in a month. <laughs> a game month, don't worry. Create. Go. Thank you. So, we are creating bowmen. And then to increase the size, I need... 75 again. Okay. So, is there any way, in the meantime, to get more money? Hello, Popey Dopey. I can't ask you for money, I know that. I would like to, but I can't. So... Intrigue stuff. Can we do something interesting? You have to stay to do what you do. Foreign affairs is good for you. You are collecting taxes. Do we have a better... Better steward, potentially? No. Could we get one through marriage? Court. Hello, do you have a husband? You do not. Oh, but I want I want somebody from uh, not my court though. I don't, that's not possible. Okay. Oh, the uh, Count of Antwerp does not like me because my uh, Chancellor is really terrible. <laughs> oh well. Um, no secrets at the Pope's court. Okay. Well, then I will send you somewhere else so you can find secrets and maybe I can blackmail somebody into joining my war. Oh, but who? Could I use a hook to, hmm, to get become independent? No, I don't think so. Maybe, but Lotharingia is weak. King Ludwig the Younger of Bavaria, zero percent chance of finding a secret. The Jarl, very high chance of finding a secret. Hang on, let's stop here for a second. Pause. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, hello? Why are you? Oh, because you keep me that. King Rivalon Mab Solomon. I don't know. Count Heston. No, he's probably not going to want to help me. But here, Pity King Alfred. Why not? 30% chance of learning a secret. It's very low, but maybe, maybe, maybe we can get him that far. Yes, let's go. Oh, I have a available perk for my uh, martial lifestyle. Ooh. Do I want to stay in this lifestyle? I think I probably do. 
Cash's belly cost lowered is always good, and making my army better, I think, would be fantastic. So let's now go for strategist. Bellum Justum. Grand. So, 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 so. Let me think. We have done this. We can't marry women off to somebody outside of our court, I guess? Hmm. So, in that case, we need a guest, but that costs money to invite. Oh, oh, look, our son is six years old. So, let's give him... Oh, I really wanted to give him diplomacy education or intrigue. But he's really good as, as a steward and in learning, but... Ugh. I don't really want him to become a learning... No, I, I want you... Let's go for diplomacy. Maybe that will help. Maybe that will help. And who's your guardian again? You don't really have a guardian. So, we need to uh, to find a good guardian for you. Somebody who is good with this and... Uh, oh, look at that. Mastermind philosopher. But I want I want diplomacy education. Hmm. Yes, that's not very good, huh? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I could send away my boy if I find somebody in, uh, for example, in, in, in King Louis court. Mm. Prince Louis, no. What about your wife? Oh, Vindictive Craven, but very, very good at this. No, no, no. Let's see if we have somebody better. No. What about one of your vassals with really high... Look, look, look! Duke Gauts Fried of Neustria! Very good. A great eminence. Can we... Can we... You're Catholic and French. Hmm. Don't really want... But what if we do this? And then you. Would he become French? No. He would not become French. Should we try this? Let's try it. He has 1,700 troops, too. Okay. Uh, no secrets yet, but she does still believe there's something going on. So keep, keep looking. And you are educating my child now. I'm very happy. He might die before he finishes this education. We'll find somebody else. And it's a little bit risky to send my son away like this. He's uh, currently in the main. Where is that? Oh, over there. Well, I hope you learn uh, some French and uh, eat some good food. Might be useful. You never know if we uh, become a vassal of this kingdom. But first, we need to see. Yes, you are at 1622. So, 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 so. How do we get rid of you? And your heir, your heir is just a little boy. Can we murder you? No, we can't. But surely he's not going to live much longer, right? He's ailing. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. He's going to die soon. So maybe his, his heir, maybe his heir will not be as good. Look at that. Two stewardship, but ten intrigue. Okay, so that would be, that would be potentially interesting. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let's hope the Yara will die soon. Yes, that might be a very, very, very useful thing. If the Yarl dies. Huh. I think I'm gonna hope for that. And in the meantime, I really need to upgrade these guys. Because I, I, I can't create another men-at-arms regiment because I'm over my limit. But I'm pretty sure I can increase their size. Oh, oh look, he's dead. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the new Jarl. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that's exactly what I wanted. But I really... 500 light footmen. The men-at-arms are just so good. I'm not sure my current army can take this because I only have levies and then... 200 men at arms against 600. I really want that second regiment of bowmen and then we will go. I think that will be the way to go. Oh. 
Hey, Yarly. You, uh, you're kind of young, aren't you? Kind of young. He has claims on the county and the Jarldom of Frisia. You know. I really, I really should not be your vassal anymore. Hang on. What, what happened here? Oh, it splintered. Oh. Pope. Pope, you are really annoying. You know that? These guys are unfaithful. Um, that's not entirely what I mean. But they are non-believers. You, I, I, well, I'm not very pious. But you should love me more, man. But that means he, um, hmm. I mean, I do think it's, this boy is his vassal, right? No, no, no. Completely independent. Haha. <laughs> So that's why he lost so many troops. Oh, <gasps> this is the time to attack. He only has 300 life footmen left. Okay, next episode, we are trying. Can we, can we declare, uh, can we declare independence? Yes, we can. So I don't see any problem with doing this. So we will do that. And uh, hopefully we will gain our independence. I, I would prefer to actually have a claim on the duchy uh, to become the duke immediately but the pope won't give me the claim and i don't really have the piety to do it so i will have to do this another way but i will get my independence and maybe then uh vassalize myself under the the west francine king we'll see but uh good progress so whoo, exciting thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did hit the like button and please consider subscribing helps out immensely New episodes in this series come out about every other day at 8 p.m. CET, and I will see you next time.